Hello, my name is Josh, and I'm Watchaholic. Welcome to Horology Insanity. What is up, my watch friends? So, check this out. Y'all know that I've been kind of on a kick with z and y'all know that I love, love, love me some z -Lips. Now, what I wanted to do with this one, I want to compare this black tip to basically a bunch of other divers in the z lineup so that you can see side-by-side -side comparisons and determine if you like one or another or if one might be a better fit for you um, depending on the size and how they wear then that's kind of what i want to look at here so let's just start it out on the huge end of the spectrum and compare it to da, 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 the great white so y'all know i call this a chunky monkey this thing is huge and it's basically a big version of the Mako, which is why I love it so much. I wish it was thinner. And let me see if I can get some dimensions on this. This gray white, I think it's like 44. Yeah, 44 and a half. Can I grab it? Yeah. So, so 44 and a half compared to 41. And it definitely makes a difference. Now, what's interesting is the way that the bezel and the dial wear. The black tip has a little bit more wrist presence. So the little bit that I've been wearing it, it kind of feels, it's spot on at 41, maybe like a 42. And that's been with my crimson red one. The interesting part about the crimson red is the black bezel almost makes it where not as big as it might look. So that stealth black almost makes it like a shadow when you're wearing it, you know? I didn't even put a hammerhead in here. That's another big one. Chunky Monkey or the Abyss. I don't even own an Abyss. But just so you know, yeah, you're definitely not in that territory. But as you can see, the black tip still has good wrist presence. So if you like these big watches from Zelos because of their wrist presence, then, then the, the black tip may not be a bad option. Let's go ahead and continue on down the pipeline. So here is the 42 millimeter Swordfish. And I think for me, one of the biggest things that I talk about when it comes to sizing is the lugs, like the way that they're designed. And you'll notice that the black tip kind of got like short stubby lugs and the swordfish has more angular, longer lugs. And then the other one is the crown guards. And you'll notice that here, the the black tip, kind of in that vintage skin diver style, it doesn't have crown guards and compared to these other ones that do. And so I think that that makes them wear, you know, quite a bit different when they're on wrist. And I think that the black tip almost has a little bit more of a, a sleeker feeling when it's on wrist than the 42 mil swordfish even though like i said when you look at them they really look very similar in the overall size dial that kind of stuff so yeah there's an option there and this one just sitting here so i'll pull it up here this is the stainless steel but it's the same size as the titanium and so um, if it looks any different it's really just the bezel giving that effect than than it is anything else than the actual like dimensions on the wrist let's keep looking at i like this ventus north star and i think that the case shape on these are kind of similar you'll see that the black tip is a bit thinner overall it doesn't the bezel doesn't have a step out on the north star and it's got different crown position but you know the ventus definitely wears a little bit smaller i think it's a 40 let's get a measurement on this real quick i can't remember all these um yeah see it's right at 40 and so, you know, when you take the 40 mil case, the, the four o'clock crown, and the fact that the bezel doesn't stand up like it does here on that, you can see a little bit of difference of what it would look like on the wrist. There's definitely a lot more wrist presence with the black tip. So, but just depending on what you got, the lugs on these were really similar in my opinion. And, and we'll go to another one here, what it reminded me of, the case shape. This is the Aventurine Horizons. Y'all know that these were smaller than everybody thought. 
In fact, I think they started calling them 39. So you'll see here that the bezel is about 38. The case, depending on where you grab it, but it's right at 40. But it does not wear like a 40 millimeter watch. It, it just doesn't. It wears small, and almost everybody who wears this says that it wears small, and I think it's because of the bezel design and the bezel shape. Now, when I first saw the black tip design, I thought the case was going to be kind of like the Horizons. We'll go ahead and throw a shout out now. Keep an eye on the Timekeepers group because Elshin is coming out with a 43 millimeter Horizons. It's a basically a 43 mil version of the Horizons case. I'm curious to see what the bezel looks like. And I'm kind of curious to see how it compares to the 41 millimeter black tip. So I may end up ordering one just for fun to compare these. But I thought that the black tip was going to be a larger version of the Horizons. And when I actually get them in person, I can see that they're quite different. I really can. I can see. I thought that the case shape was going to be a lot more similar, but you can see that it's really, it's, it's just not. It's, it's, it's quite a different design that Elshin did with this black tip. So even though they both don't have crown guards, but yeah, overall, I thought they were going to be more similar than they are. Now let's stick with 40 millimeter watches. Here I have the Mako, and these are very different. Now the lugs, you see how the lugs are are kind of short and stubby on the Mako, kind of like they are on the black tip, you know, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but that's one option. The overall case shape and design is very much different. Um, you'll see that this has got like a step out right here when it comes down to the lug to where the black tip is just kind of smooth all the way around. And you will see that there's a little bit of like a chamfer edge on that case, which is pretty nice. You know, the accents on the the Mako, it does have them there on the side, but they're they're a little bit different, right? A little bit wider on the Mako. So, but anyway, just wanted to throw these up and, and give you a comparison. The the black tip definitely wears bigger than the Mako, and so depending on what size you want, you could go one or the other when you're looking for these. And then the last one I wanted to compare it to is the 40 millimeter swordfish. So again, keep in mind the lugs on this. Right, they're going to be a lot more pronounced. The crown here and the crown guards, but when you put them side by side, you can see that you know the swordfish does not have kind of the size or, or the heft of this, even though it does have the more angular styled case and lug design. I don't know, y'all know that I've got a, an 8 inch wrist. I love the size of this black tip. Let's go ahead and compare it to two others. This is just probably one of the most popular watches in the world, the Seiko SKX. And so I wanted to compare it to the SKX just so that you can see kind of dimension wise. The face of it gives it a very similar kind of wrist presence. Now, of course, the design and aesthetic on the black tip is way sleeker, I think. I think there's a lot, almost like some Art Deco stylish stuff to the hands and the indices at 12, 3, and 9 on this that you don't see on the classic Seiko. But, and this is the larger of the Seikos, and so I think it, 41 and a half. So you can see it's a very similar sizing. Now I will say the Seiko I think wears thick and chunky and the black tip does not wear as thick and chunky, even though I kind of wonder if they're both the same size. Let's do some measurements. Okay, I've got 13.5 on the SKX and I've got 12.5 on the black tip and what's funny is is when you're talking about height one mil makes a big difference it really does i think one mil difference on the height is much bigger than like one mil extra on case diameter or lug to lug or any other dimension so you can see here just kind of comparison and then the last one is another extremely popular watch you can hear the jingly jangly. I've actually got this on a Seiko SKX bracelet, which is kind of funny. Oh, the SKX that you just saw is actually on a Strabco bracelet. And then I think I probably 
Oh, that one came on another one. I got another SK. I think this came. I don't know. I've got too many. I switch and swap parts and all that. I can't keep track of them all. But this is the Casio Duro. And the Casio Duro is a bigger watch. So let's see if I can get a measurement across here. Like you could see, I think they're rated at like 40. Okay, I'm measuring 44. There's no way. Hold on. Is it really? Maybe it is. All right, I might have to look that up and see what I'm dealing with here. But you can see the Casio Duro next to the black tip. And yeah, the Duro kind of overshines it a little bit. It's, it's, but the Duro's a big watch. I know that there's some people, uh, Jody at Just One More Watch, and a bunch of people are maybe trying to convince Casio to make a 40 millimeter version of the Duro. But if y'all know too, and this is a complete side tangent, they're no longer going to have the Marlin on the Casio Duro dial, which in my opinion is a staple, like that kind of makes the watch. So Jody did a great video on that. He had some new releases, something about the trademark copyright, something, something legal, something, something went out. So Casio can't do that anymore i think that's a shame casio you might have maybe wanted to try to renew that or something for those of us who love the duro that's one of the things we love about it yeah you can see just overall sizing comparison now the duro's a quartz so you can see that it doesn't wear as thick but that's because it's a quartz just to give you some size comparisons references you know you can find a duro at your local walmart probably if you need to go over there and try one on the the black tip is definitely not as big as the duro it doesn't wear as big on wrist um it wears sleeker it wears a little heavier on wrist again that could be because of the automatic movement even though this is bigger it's it's not as heavy so lots of things to consider but anyway tell me down below do you have a black tip and what do you think it wears like? Because the other one that I thought about comparing it to was my Hamilton Murph, which the Murph is a little bit bigger than this. I think it's 42, 50 mil lug to lug. But these lugs, you know, they, they're they a little tight because I think it's a 20 mil strap here. So compared to like a 22 on, on the Murph. But anyway, until we talk again, my friends, please remember what really matters. And that that's not watches. Keep the insanity sane.